This short video is only a quick practical demo of the step-by-step -step process involved in the SARS-CoV-2 Rapid Antigen Test or RAT test. I highly recommend though that you watch my other video where I explain every step of the test process in a very simple and easy to understand manner. In that video, I've also included very brief and simplified explanations of some basic concepts directly related to the RAT test. Click on the link given at the top right corner of the screen right now or the link in the description below to watch that video. Follow all necessary precautions and wear protective equipment before you perform the test. A typical RAT test kit has the following contents. A RAT test cassette or test strip sealed in a plastic pouch. A mixing tube containing a few milliliters of viral extraction or lysis buffer liquid. A nozzle cap and a sterile nasal swab stick typically made of plastic with a fine cotton brush at one tip packed in a sterile pouch. To begin the RAT test for SARS-CoV-2 virus, open the pouch containing the sterile nasal swab stick. Make sure to follow the instruction on the pouch and open it from the side containing the end of the swab stick handle and not from the side containing the cotton tip. Carefully remove the swab stick from the pouch. Also open and remove the foil covering of the extraction tube. Keep this aside. Also remove the test cassette from its sealed pouch. Now holding the nasal swab stick handle with a thumb and index finger, insert it carefully through one of the nostrils of the patient and into the nasopharyngeal region of the nasal cavity. Once the cotton tip of the swab stick reaches the very end of the nasopharynx, Carefully rotate the stick in a semi-circular motion repeatedly clockwise then anti-clockwise for about 5 times. Then gently but quickly remove the swab stick from the nasal cavity entirely. Immediately dip the cotton tip of the stick into the extraction buffer liquid and gently agitate the buffer in circular motion about 5 times. Now squeeze the plastic tube just below the mouth and forcefully pull off the swab stick in order to extract as much residual liquid from the cotton tip into the buffer tube as possible. Now tightly cover the tube with the nozzle cap provided and then gently mix the contents of the tube for a few seconds. Without any delay, add 3 to 4 drops of the extracted specimen from the buffer tube onto the specimen loading chamber of the test cassette. Leave the cassette undisturbed for a few minutes. You will notice the liquid sample begin to travel along the entire length of the nitrocellulose membrane of the test strip. Make your final observations at the end of 5 to 10 minutes. In the case of a sample that tests positive for COVID-19, two distinct purple lines appear on the spots labeled as test or T and control or C on the test cassette. As long as a purple line shows on the test spot, no matter how faint, is typically considered as positive test. In the case of a negative test for COVID-19, only the control or C spot shows a single purple line. A purple line showing only on the test or T spot but not on the control or C spot is considered as an invalid test. Hope you liked this video and learned a thing or two about the basic working principle of COVID-19 rapid antigen test and how the test is performed. Do show your support and subscribe for more related content. Thanks for watching.